What is up, boys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're playing some more EA Sports UFC 4 Universe mode. We're diving in today. Rafi Shafiq v. Cal is opening up the card. The loser will be leaving the UFC Universe series. Rafi Shafiq is 40 and 13. Cal is 15 and 2. And he is hunting legends. In his last fight, he beat Thomas Lav. In Shafiq's last fight, he lost to the best ever. I bet Kazenbeck, who has now retired 30 and 0, he has retired. There are a lot of open divisions. In this card, we are going to see so many vacant titles get after it. You know. A lot of fights need to happen. We need to rebuild the divisions after ABEC just destroyed everything. Let's see what happens there. Shafiq's a very good fighter, man, but this is arguably the greatest striker matchup, you know. I think Marty Bones as well is definitely in the conversation. And this is Cal v Shafiq. We're going to see what happens, man. We've got Cal going on a little bit of a Viking look here with a braided beard and a Viking kind of mohawk. We've got Shafiq looking like he's at a circus. I don't know what's going to happen, boys. Shafiq wanted to open up the card, so I figured, you know what, why not? Let's uh, let's get it out of the way. My ass whooping or his, we'll see what happens. So far, a little bit of a stalemate. No one really landing anything too significant there. Nice slip there for Cal. Very, very elusive. Lands a good shot there. Good knee. Knocked him off balance, though. Superman punches definitely do add up with Cal. And there's a straight counter there, and Shafiq is rocked. Okay. He just still looks like he's sparring, which is just crazy to see. He just looks like he's chilling. Superman punch again. Good start to the fight for Cal. Nice body shot there for Shafiq, though. Okay. Elbow in the clinch. Straight, nice leg kick from Shafiq. These boys are just trading now. Spinning back fist for Shafiq. Let's go. Left hook. Good shots there from both men. Trading nicely. There's another Superman punch. Shafiq is rocked. Okay. Shafiq shoots her a takedown. Come on, man. This is meant to be striking. <laughs> okay. Let's see what happens. Shafiq in top mount now. Wow. Okay. The only losses in Cal's career come from submissions. So this is a good idea from Shafiq. He uses wrestling, you know? Very good idea. I don't know. Cal can't seem to get up either. That, that's just weird. He got up against Dixon, but can't get up against Shafiq. <laughs> but what? <laughs> it doesn't make much sense, but it is what it is. Let's see what happens. 30 seconds left of the first round. High kick there. Blocked. Superman punch clips him again. And Shafiq is out. Curly Cow gets another one. Shafiq has left the UFC. He is done. So this fight as well was the number one contender for the next title fight in the lightweight division. And Cal has just stopped Shafiq. He will now face the winner of Chad Dalton v. Jonathan Smith for the lightweight title. Shafiq crashes out of the organization. What a fighter he was. An absolute legend. And uh, again, I want to say thank you to Faisal for letting my boy fight yours. It was a fun one. It is all over. Let's move on, boys. We've got some debuts. Let's, uh, let's see how they go. Let's get it. The return of Robin Baines. He's taking on debuting Noah Lay today. Going to be very, very fun to watch. I'm excited for both of these guys. Going to be very exciting. Let's rock and roll, boys. Let's get it. Robin Baines got a good win in his first debut fight. Noah Lay debuting today of the same kind of level. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Here we go. Nice shots. Noah Lay coming out very aggressive there. Good double jab there from Robin. Body work there as well. Oh. Okay. Good body kick. And Noah. Noah's looking good. Robin there attacking the body very nicely though. Good boxing. Both men so far. Let's see what happens, boys. He's jabbing a lot. Bayans is jabbing a ton. Good body work there for Noah. Overhand clips. Oh, he's down. Robin there with a good shot. Lower lay down. Let's see what Robin can do here. Can he finish the fight? 
Good knee there for Noah. One, two. Noah's still in this fight. Good slip there and a nice spinning back is there for Noah Lay. Noah's landing too. Good jab for Robin. Oh, overhand clips him again. Oh, down he goes. Noah Lay in trouble there. He's backing up. Robin shoots. Can he get it? Denial there for Noah Lay. Good takedown defense. Good elbow there. Knee to the body. Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, Robin getting tagged now. Man, good fight. Good fight so far. Good straight. Noah's got some real good boxing there. It's starting to add up too. Nice shot there though. Drops Noah. Robin is pushing forward. Nice check. Good jab for Noah Lay. Good straight there as well. Robin's getting tagged a little bit, but he's doing the work as well. Fun fight. Big shot. Oh, big knockdown. Robin just can't seem to pull the trigger and finish him, though. Good uppercut from Noah. Robin slips. Another down again. That could be all over. That could be all she wrote. Robin Bay ends 2-0 in the UFC. Four, what's that? 5-0 and oh in UFC Universe. Let's go. Big win. Another debut to today with Billy Williams, the janitor full of BLC, signing up to the UFC, and he's taking on Elijah Kareem. Let's rock and roll. Let's see how this one goes. So the last uh, the last fight, the records for the fighters were 4-0 and oh from Robin, and uh, now 5-0, and oh, obviously, and uh, Noah was 3-0. and oh. uh, Going into this one, Elijah Kareem is 3-2. and two. Billy is 2-0. and oh. So we're going to see what happens here, boys. Let's get it. The janitor from the Big DC now moved to the gym with the gladiators, and now he is a fighter. We're going to see what he can do. Here we go. Will Kareem be too much for him? This guy's a little bit shorter than Kareem. Nice boxing there from Elijah. Good leg kick. Let's see what happens, though. Billy's got some nice combos, bro. Let's go. His nickname is Billy Clean It Williams. We're going to see if Billy will be able to get it done. Let's find out. He's on the back foot. Is Kareem hurting? I think so. Ooh. That was nasty. Nice head kick there. Kareem backing up. Good shots from Kareem. High kick clips him. Williams being very tricky early on. Oh, oh, down goes Kareem. Williams looking for the finish. Can he get it? I don't know. I don't think so. Kareem reverses it. Kareem is a very good wrestler. That's what people forget to realize. And I'll see it from Kareem. Okay, can Williams get back to his feet? It's also a question. Kareem chooses to stand up. That could have been a stupid decision there because he is a wrestler. Overhand clips Billy though. Buckled him momentarily. Nice work in the clinch there. Kareem's looking okay, you know. Big straight though buckles him and down he goes. Billy Williams looking for the finish. Can he get it? No. Kareem is tough, man. Here we go. Side control for Billy. Postures up. He's looking to rip. Elijah Kareem. Billy Williams, look, I mean, as far as debuts goes, he's looking pretty good, man. Postures up again. Elijah Kareem is out. The janitor gets it done. Billy clean it, Williams. Let's go. Marty Bones taking on Sean Hilden up next. Hilden has hit superstardom very quickly. He has beat some very big names, and Marty Bones hasn't been the same for a while now. We're going to dive in. Sean Hilden is 5-0. Marty Bones is 22-5. Uh, but He is on a bit of a downward spiral at the minute. He's lost his last like four fights, I believe. So, so we're going to see what happens. Marty Bones, can he get back in there and get a win today? Or is Hilden the real deal? Let's find out. Two of the best boxers in the division. We're going to see. This is a very good test for Hilden. If he beats Marty Bones, you know he's the real deal. Oh! Bones down. 
Sean Hilden with the upset of the century knocks out Marley Bones in a few seconds. Wow. Hilden is looking like a real deal at lightweight. What a win. Two of the Nightmare Boys going at it. We got the Hatchet Man, Jordan Holmes, who is 32 and 12, taking on Colin Ashley, who is, where's Colin? Colin Ashley is 28 and 12. Very, very interesting records. Very interesting fighters. We're going to see how this goes, man. Let's rock and roll. Jordan Holmes, Colin Ashley. They fought once before. I believe Colin has a win. Can Holmes right that wrong? We're going to find out. Big up the cut from Holmes. Let's go. Let's see what happens. So far, not a whole bunch. <laughs> Colin switches stance. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. The left hook. Was it right even? <laughs> I don't know who's left and right. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. Knee stomp. For Colin. Holmes shoots. Colin denies. Uppercut. Good body shot there as well. The left hook. Let's see. Holmes might be able to get Colin down. Maybe get him in a clinch and trip him. I think if it does stay standing, though, Colin obviously is the better striker. I say that as Holmes lands a very nice left hook and slips. <laughs> there we go. That's what he's looking for. Colin, though, denies again. Good elbow. And a nice slip there for Ashley as well. Big shot to the body. Colin moving forward. Nice leg kick. And slipping. Okay. Shoots on the double. Colin's just unable to get to the canvas. Nice counter straight there from Holmes. That was nice. The way he come back in with that. Beautiful. Okay. Good slip from Holmes again. And a nice bit of boxing there. Colin's using up a lot of moves, which is going to affect his stamina. And that is exactly what Holmes wants. Holmes can, like, just wait for him to tire out. Or it's hurt his legs, though. Colin did the same thing against my fighter, you know. He, he used the, the leg kicks, and uh, it caused my fighter to have a bit of a back step. You know, didn't really come in as aggressive. And leg kicks are adding up. He did against me as well, Holmes. I know the pain. <laughs> Colin now in the clinch. Oh, up and tight in the clinch. Drops Holmes. Some leg kicks, man. They're mean. Holmes, can he get it? No. Take down, bro. Man. Oh. I don't know how that happened, but okay. That should have gone into like a backlink situation there in that animation. But it is what it is. Colin now in Southpaw. Head kick lands. Good shots there for Holmes. Putting a nice little combination together. Finally gets the takedown. Nice hip toss. Colin straight back to his feet, though. What's happening? Good left hook there for Holmes. Really powerful leg kick lands. Leg kick again. Them leg kicks, man. I don't know what he dropped him with there. I think that was a leg kick, but... Oh! Yeah, if you don't like your legs being kicked, Colin is not the guy to fight, man. He is a bulky style. Time and time again. And now he just seems to butcher people's legs. He did the same thing against me. And, um... It bothered my fighter. It gave him the first round, like it did here in this fight. Um, the only fighter that was kind of able to deal with the leg kicks was Rozovic. Because um, every time Colin would throw to the legs, Rozovic would answer with like a straight. And it would kind of throw Colin off. There's another leg kick there. Holmes down again. A leg kick TKO. Colin Ashley, he has legs of steel. Gets it done. Big win for the 302 native. Wow. All right, moving on. We've got some more crazy fights. Let's get it going, boys. Man, what a fight, though. Now vacant titles are in the mix. Thomas Lav v. Rozovic for the vacant welterweight title. Let's see how this one goes, man. The records for both of these guys. Thomas Lav, I believe, is 28 and 11. Rozovic is 18 and 10. We're going to see how this goes, man. The winner will be the welterweight champion. Let's see how it goes, man. Very exciting fight. Thomas Lav, of course, a legend. And a Hall of Famer. He's on a two-fight contract. We're going to see how he fares. If he wins this fight, he'll probably stay because he will be champion. But we'll see. Rozovic walking forward. 
Boxing heavy style for Rozovic. Tomislav throwing up a lot of shots there. Nice combination there from Tomislav. Let's see. Rozovic, what I will say, although he is a, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> although he is a, um, you know, he's took a few losses, you know, he's 18 and 10. He seems to have really came onto his own at welterweight now, and he's, you know, he's on two, I think a two-fight win streak. He's beat some big names, and, you know, he's, he's in there now in a title shot. He has the chance to win gold. Big left hook there for Rozovic. Tobislav, though, he's doing a real good job of controlling this range. Double jab there. Good left hook. A right hook, either. Oh, oh, Rozovic now. Oh, Rozovic with a freaking Superman punch. Breaks the gap with that one. Let's go. Good body work there. Nice uppercut from Thomas left. Oh, walked into a straight. Rozovic now, boxing combinations, puts down Tomislav. Flattens him out. Beating on him now. He's in a very good position. He can just try and posture up. He's got the back. Flattens him out. He can posture here. He's going for a choke. <laughs> what? Could this be payback? Tomislav submitted Arthur Jackson, who is, of course, Rozovic's uh, like creator. Man, if Rozovic chokes out Thomas Lev, what a scene that would be. He's got it. He's got it. Ulysses Rozovic is the new welterweight champion. Rozovic gets revenge for Arthur Jackson, the new welterweight champion. Ulysses Rozovic. Wow. Moving on, we have Brady Mayfield v. Michael Claymore taking him on for the uh, vacant featherweight title. Let's see how that one goes, boys. Let's go. Brady Mayfield v. Michael Claymore up next. This one's going to be interesting. Brady Mayfield sits at around, I believe, is it 40? I'm trying to find him on here. I can't find it. 44 and 10 is Brady's record. He's taken on Michael Claymore, who is 9 and 1, arguably the best featherweight uh, since Shafiq has moved to lightweight and obviously lost the belt and stuff. I'd say Claymore is probably the best featherweight. But Brady, you know, he's come back. He's had some returns, some retirements. He's been up and down in the divisions. He's back. Big win over Saker in his last fight. We're going to see what Brady can do today. Go for a little bit more of a wrestle-heavy stance. I don't know how that's going to favour him, but we'll see. Some one two's here from Brady. He needs to shoot. Claymore, though, has all the power on the range. Nice combination, though. From Brady. He's very fast. Claymore, though, hits like a truck. They need to, Brady needs to watch that. Because Claymore could knock him out in a few seconds, bro. Brady needs to get this fight to the mat. Big left hook. Okay. Brady's striking pretty damn nice here, though. Which I can't believe I'm seeing because it's Ben Askren. But, okay. Nah, there's no way. What? What the fuck? Brady's looking nice with the striking. Good left. Shoots. Can he get it? No. Claymore denies. Oh. Brady down. All it takes is one from Claymore. He's a savage. Uppercut. Spinning back fist. Brady eats it though. Let's see what happens. Left hook. Claymore again lands clean. Looking forward. Brady needs to get this freaking win and survive a little bit. We can't get Claymore down to the canvas though. Here is where Brady should level change to try and get an ankle or something, you know? Oh, down again. Claymore looking for the finish. High kick drops in Claymore. Flattens him out. Can he close the show? Brady eats it. Let's see what happens here. Claymore denies. Claymore's just holding him down. Claymore with a submission. What? Nah, no way. If Claymore submits Brady Mayfield. Wow. Wow. Some shock submissions in this one. Claymore, known as a boxer, has 
has just absolutely flipped it on his head and submitted Brady. Oh my God. The new featherweight champion, Michael Claymore, gets it done. Moving on, we have Jonathan Smith taking on Chad Dalton for the vacant uh, lightweight title. Let's go. So there's a bit of talk on the Discord, link is in the description, about uh, these guys. The, both of their uh, creators are cursed when it comes to winning titles. Jonathan Smith, of course, Ramirez Nazir's creator, and Jonathan Smith, obviously. Um, Chad Dalton's creator is uh, Tony Francisco as well, who have all lost title fights, never been champions. Tonight, that curse will be broken. Jonathan Smith or Chad Dalton, one of these guys will win a belt. We're going to find out who that is. Jonathan Smith is 19-9. and nine. Chad Dalton is 11-3. and three. We're going to see what happens, man. Here we go. The main event of the evening, Chad Dalton, Jonathan Smith. Here we go. Let's get it. Smith off the bat. Throwing kicks, drop Dalton. Clean. He's out. Jonathan Smith in a few seconds. Gets it done. Wow. Jonathan Smith is the man. Stops Chad Dalton in his tracks. Wow. Alrighty, boys, that will be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, hit the like button, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you for more EA Sports UFC 4 Universe mode next time. Stay awesome, guys. Have amazing. Have an, I can't even speak. I'm in awe, bro. What a finish for Jonathan Smith. Have an amazing day, and I will see you all again in the next one.